very much. Thank you very much. Another question now. I want some reaction here. Everybody, are you lucky? Yes. <laughs> testing, testing. Are you lucky? Yes. You notice that the first time there was a hesitation. <laughs> That's the worst thing you can do with your life. Because the question, are you lucky, transcends the semantics. Whatever that means. <laughs> when I say, are you lucky, do you realize what I'm talking about? Is how are you living your life? Again, I'm not going to preach, but I'm going to tell you like it is. You are lucky. You are not only lucky. You are the best you that there has ever been on the face of the earth from the beginning to the very end. Do you realize how many people have to live and die from time immemorial for you? all of you to be here now. So it's your time. So are you lucky? You bet you I'm lucky. You are the luckiest. You are the best you that there is. Again, I repeat, when the good Lord created this universe, the entire spiel, and he put all those riches out there, the wonderful things that are there, that who, they, who did he do that for? It's not for them or those. It's for you, us, we. Not for them. It's yours. Claim it. Don't be greedy, but claim it. He put it there for you. So are you lucky? Yes, which means the aura around me allows me to receive what's mine. Simple as that. No more, no less. I used to feel the way you do. People say, are you lucky? I say, you cannot find a parking place. Could never find a parking place. I'm going to be audited. Yeah, I got audited. Yes. Because you bring upon yourself. So are you lucky? Yes. Yes. I didn't feel like that before. I was in debt. I, I was, everything was going from bad to worse. Thank God. Now I'm in a different position I want to share with you. I just talked with my accountant in Las Vegas. I say, how am I sad? He says, Nelson, with the grace of God, you have money to, for the rest of your life, providing that you die Tuesday, 4 o'clock. <laughs> <coughs> So anyway, <laughs> but before I didn't even have money till Tuesday. See, now I have till Tuesday. So this guy, I was, I, I never felt like that, I, but until I met this guy, he's an Italian guy, his name is Skip Epstein. <laughs> Skip is the luckiest man that the good Lord has ever put on the face of this earth. He came from Italy, found money on the street. The proverbial joke about finding money on the street, he found it. He puts money in the post office, he gets more stamp than he paid for. Always finds a parking place. You won alone the New Jersey lottery, $12 million alone. And the same guy, picture this, he won half of the $8 million lottery in California because the other half has got to go to two Mexicans. It's the law. So anyway, <laughs> so this guy, <laughs> it's nice when you tell it like it is. You know, anyway, <clears throat> yes. So this guy, sir, this lucky. I never envied him. I always admired him, but I never envied him because what I'm talking about, intrinsic value is nothing. Again, I repeat, money is money. You lose, you make it. But I envied him when I saw the woman that he married to show how lucky he was. I did not envy her, or better yet, I did not covet it, her. It's, I envied him in a beautiful manner. She was beautiful. She was an Indian lady. Not American Indian. I'm talking Indian like, thank you, no thank you, thank you for thanking me. <laughs> Time to kill the cow. Anyway, folks, <laughs> it was beautiful. She was buying motels and 7-Eleven like crazy. Yes, she was beautiful. And this woman, Indian, picture, was the, I've seen beautiful women in my days. I still do. Beautiful she was, Indian, dark, complected, with the black ebony hair cascading over her shoulders and, and I've been on ships too long. <laughs> With her sari clinging to her body, revealing the curvaceousness of her bounties. <laughs> and she had the diamond here, you know, right here. I hope she never catch the coin. Achy! He was <laughs> like that. Grab that thing, grab that thing. Wash it and give it back. Anyway, so. And she had the red dot over here, you know? And he was telling me, he says, Nelson, 
I didn't realize what a lucky man I was until I married her. And many nights I woke up in the middle of the night just to look, to look at her and see that she, in her splendor, was sleeping next to me. Every night I would wake up at least one time and look, she's sleeping next to me. And one day he couldn't resist and he scratched the little red dot and you won a car. <laughs>